I got to be honest, it, I felt nothing. I oh. felt it, I ate the oysters. I didn't feel disgusted by it. I didn't feel pleasured by it. I just felt. I actually got a message from your girlfriend saying she was trying to seduce you that night, and you were all full and <laughs> and feeling sick from oysters. Well, because after I ate the oysters, so I, I ate the six oysters, mm. I down the martini pretty quick. Okay. And then I I was like, if this goes wrong, I want something to buffer it. Okay. Mm. So then I I went around and bought like the largest thing of chips I could. Okay. And then walk time eating that to to. Jeez, why are you why are you shaking your head? It's just not how you're supposed to do it. Like. You always thwart pleasure. <laughs> yes. You, oh, thank you, you. You are allergic to pleasure. You are. Well, you can't ever just... <laughs> this, is, this is such a funny... I mean, now I know why you're doing this podcast. <laughs> because you, you actually can't engage. Hello, welcome to Silver Bullet. My name's Lewis Hover. My name's Michael Hing. And uh, this is a podcast really about the things people try to fix themselves, the good and the bad. Yes. We'll try them all until we find something that works. Because we are looking for a silver bullet. Today's guest is uh, one of our old friends, one of the funniest people in the country, Becky Lucas. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming by. Why are you laughing already? Well, I just when you said fix, I just was thinking of Coldplay. In a town sometimes and you can't succeed. I just thought that should be your theme song. That's really and good. And I will try to fix you. That should be easy to clear, I think. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. are we allowed to? No, we've, no. you've just cost Chris us Martin, a billion dollars. I don't think Chris Martin wants that version of his song. <laughs> I think I think he does. <laughs> Becky, what's your like self-help history? Are you much of a self-help enthusiast? I am. I'm like always, like every week I have a new thing that I'm like, this is me now. Oh, great. Oh, okay. You know, like it's like at the moment I'm making this healthy bowl with all these different grains and right. I'm like yeah I'm just gonna have this every morning and this is me now uh-huh. and this is like how I'm gonna live how well, long like, do you know, they I'll last get up, yeah like a week okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like every morning I'm going for a walk and then I I can't just do it and quietly do it I have to let everyone know that's what I'm doing that this is the answer <laughs> that this is what we should all be aiming for yep. just because I'm doing it and it feels good and uh what do you because for, for Lewis and I the mm. thing we're mostly trying to fix I guess broadly anxiety, mm-hmm. um, you know that kind of thing. Are you kind of fix like mental stuff, or is it? Are you trying to? Fix I the- I think it's the pursuit of like the new activity, the new thing that's uh-huh. going to bring me back to earth. Like right. so whether it's like oh I do Pilates now, I do weights now, I do like I meditate or I all these things. It's like it's not even about doing them; it's about the pursuit of the one that will work. Oh, so you're a silver bullet enthusiast yourself? I am. Yeah. I really do. I believe okay. in. I, I don't believe there's ever a true answer. I believe it's the promise of the of the. Oh. It's the promise. It's the search. Wow. It's the search. It's the journey. Wow. It's the journey. Yeah. Okay. No, well, we're, we're definitely looking for answers. Okay. We're, but, <laughs> however, I will say that does mean good things for the longevity of this podcast. Totally. Yeah. It's it's and like- can I just say this is just a new. Um, ethos I have this week. <laughs> this, this is my new thing. <laughs> so. Next um, week like, you like answers. It's definitely about answers yeah, yeah. and I've got it. <laughs> yeah, what's, the, definitive. what's the craziest thing you've tried? Uh, oh, the craziest thing I've tried... Like mi- like microdosing. So oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Acid, and mushrooms, mushrooms. And was okay. that? I didn't... imagine. I imagine you did it in a place where it was legal, definitely. But also, yes. um, where? Like, what was the effect of that? How long did that last? It's good, but then like then I just start having too many, and I'm just on, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on mushrooms. You're just, just dosing, just <laughs> yeah. dosing, yeah, regular dosing. Yeah. I just spiral. <laughs> did you? Because I I do feel like um, there have been times where I have felt like I've had a really good idea yes. on on mushrooms. And and it's usually not that good okay. in retrospect. Did you feel like you had like the new Facebook or anything? No, I don't think I, not tech, but I'd definitely broken through with some um, personal stuff. Oh, like I've wow. been able to forgive people or like see things from a different perspective. Huh. I have had success with it. Like wow, obviously okay. you also think of bullshit or whatever. Like I think your mind is just firing sure. and following things it doesn't usually. And that's not always good. But sometimes it is. Okay. That's well, right. if yeah. anyone from the ABC is listening, season two, the podcast, microdosing mushrooms, you know. Yeah. yeah I've only ever macro dosed. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see how this goes. Uh, but, but let's talk about the one you've chosen this okay. week. Um, I guess I kind of didn't quite understand the assignment. I thought it was just about feeling good. Yeah. There is that too. Yeah. yeah. Which I do think is part of it. Like I think, so I chose uh, having a, a martini and half a dozen oysters <laughs> each. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is very different, and this is not a judgment. It's very different to the other things we've tried. Yeah, that's in, what I was told. Um, which is, but I think that's kind of that was kind of what I was why I was so excited to do yeah. it. Mm. So, how often would you eat oysters and have a martini? Oh, look, and I know this makes me sound so bougie or whatever, but the thing is, it is so decadent. Mm. I because I grew up, my dad was an oyster farmer, so I really? grew up eating no a lot of oysters just off the rock, and it, they were always in plentiful supply. So I didn't grow up thinking that they were a delicacy, right? Um, just banging them off rocks. Totally. Because that, that was like the, how they started, right? Like back in like New York in like the Gatsby era or whatever. Like yeah. they're just in New York. Like everyone was just chipping them off the rocks. They right. weren't a delicacy. Well, I didn't know that. You and just you... go to the train station and have a dozen oysters. Totally. Are you shucking them yourself? I can shuck them. <laughs> Damn. Shit. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to though. But... <laughs> no. Yeah, you have, did that's... you have the gloves as a kid, the little metal <laughs> no. gloves? No. I mean, you just have to find the weak point and get the knife in there. It's all yeah, about... Right. Wow. So yeah. much like Leverage. comedy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to find... <laughs> Oysters and bullying. It's actually very yeah, similar. Yeah, that's right. Four eyes. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Because I, my dad um, loved... Like, he's like a scuba diver and he loves... Like, oh, he, he would come back with, like... Abalone and stuff. Yeah, that or, sort of yeah. stuff. Okay. And so, I, and be, I think because of that, as a kid, there was it took me ages to realize how good it was. Mm. I was like, oh, I think everyone just has like mm. that. And so, I think in my early twenties, I was I didn't realize how good it was. And then yeah. when I came back to it, I'm like, oh, this shit's amazing. Totally. Well, you needed it to be presented to you like in a beautiful yeah. kind of inner city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A context yeah, that yeah. wasn't dad. Yeah, yeah, fully. Yeah. I mean, they are insects of the sea. Seafood. Yeah. We have to remember that. It's quite disgusting. And oysters are like, um, they're just like the livers of the sea, right? Like they just, they just like, Process. Yeah. Well, shit. a lot of you're vegan, aren't you? I, uh, well, you dabble. Off. Yeah, because you yeah. know oysters don't have a central nervous system. Yeah, this is uh, this. So this was exciting for me because yes. I've I thought I'd eat oysters, but I I don't think I, I I thought I'd eat oysters because of that fact. Yeah, because I was like, oh, they're basically vegan. I, but I don't think I had ever, I'd actually eaten oysters. Really? So this was yeah, this was a new experience for me. But I I kind of want to know what you love about it so much. I love that flavor. Like I just. Are you an oyster fan? Huge oyster oh, fan. Awesome. But I can't like, tell you how excited I was <laughs> to get, to get the message that I, this was your I, silver bullet. I know. I was like, I can see Hobbo just already having a martini. <laughs> well, like, because like, pre having a baby, I, we had a baby five months ago. Yes, congratulations. And in, thank you so much. But in my like pre baby <laughs> life, <laughs> I would say I was having martinis and oysters. There would have been times, probably pre pandemic, weekly. Yeah. Like yeah. you having a martini and oysters weekly, I would say. Yeah, is, is like, that is that a, sorry? Is this a traditional pairing, martini and oysters? Ah, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't think so. Right. Okay. But I mean, sort of. I mean, it's 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 all a part of that kind of palette. Right. Okay. I yeah, I think I, I enjoy the intensity of the flavors. Uh-huh. I love this the, the the taste of the sea and like a really good oyster. Like it just gets into your in, into everything. It's mm-hmm. like every orifice, and it just oh like it makes me feel so good. And and how long does that good feeling last? Uh, like, does it to set you up for an evening, or does it? I like- reckon. I reckon if I have half dozen of really good oysters, even a whole dozen. And, a, and a ma- two martinis, I'm flying. Well, I'm two funny, martinis is a lot. I'm That's... being charming. <laughs> you know, I'm positive. Like, it can really set me up for a good night. Okay, okay. We're so really it's... just talking about the positive effects of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> well, Have you of... considered just being drunk all the time? It's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the thing. Because I always see it as something that I do and it's, it's indulgent mm. and... It feels like a special. It's not just like chugging, you know, having a beer because it's there and right, you're okay. backstage and just like, oh, yeah. why not? Yeah. It's like I go to somewhere, I go somewhere, I sit down, I'm present, I wait for my oysters, you know, and I and I and they're so expensive, like that they you, I save every single one, like it's. Yeah. I'm really like in the moment, and I'm really okay. grateful that I'm that I can afford to do it. Now, as someone, so I'm here now with two oyster experts. Well, he, yeah. can I just say on the oh. afford thing because mm. I was thinking about that a lot. I was like, oh, this feels really decadent, and it was mm. like obviously super decadent. But in the world of things that we've tried, in terms of like the silver bullets we've tried, it actually isn't like... Really? Like it's, you know, it's not as expensive as say like going to a flotation tank for an hour, which we've done. Mm. So in a way, even though... So I am salt of the earth. Well, I mean, (laughs) obviously that's me trying to be like, trying to take my fancy ass bullshit and make it work in class. But like, um, I, it was like, as I was doing, I was like, oh man, this is crazy expensive. But then I was also like, well, I don't know, like... We, we have if tried works, more expensive works. shit. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's expensive just to buy four things from the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like expensive it's, everything's to get expensive. Bread. Um, but when you eat oysters, and I realised 
as soon as I sat down to do it that I hadn't done it before. Oh. I want to know the guidelines. Mm. Uh, the, the, uh, do you want them with no f- no flavouring? Do you want the them with the cheese on them? There was a lot cheese. of options. Cheese. Well, that's that's <laughs> Oysters Kilpatrick. And I, and I, you know, I don't want to waste an oyster with Oysters Kilpatrick. Is, is, so you would never... That's not part... What you're talking about is... Like half a dozen fresh want, oysters yeah. kind of thing. And okay. even like sometimes I won't even put the lemon. Like if it's a good oyster, I don't even want the lemon. Right, okay. Because I'm like, I don't want to f- like mess with the flavor. Yeah. I just want the whole, f- like that whole flavor in my mouth. Okay. Even okay. though it does often come with a delicious little vinegar, which I love. <laughs> Let's come on. I know you say it as it's meant to be said. <laughs> It's a vinaigrette. <laughs> I know that you've, again, we're all trying to pretend that we're yeah, not. It's just a splash of it's vinegar. It's just a bloody splash. Of, it's a vinaigrette, <laughs> actually. It's a vinaigrette. And I guess the other fear I had going into eating oysters was you hear a lot about disaster oysters. Oh, yeah. So have either ones. of you ever had disastrous I've, oysters before? I have. I try not to make a big deal about it. I just, I don't, and because I feel, I feel this responsibility. What do you mean you feel like not to make, you try not to make a big deal out of it? What do you mean? I just mean if I get a bung oyster, it's like, like people have such strong feelings about oysters either way. Right. That I try not to let them to get a bad narrative about oysters out there. <laughs> oh, wow. You're in the pocket okay. of big oyster. You're, you're, from a fam- you're an oyster farming family. You're in the pocket of big oyster now. <laughs> so it's like I just quietly and like pretend <laughs> it didn't happen because I don't want to be like, ah, it's, it's a cover-up. Oyster. You're part yeah, of a cover-up. I am cover-up. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> That's truly how I feel about it. It's weird. But you're just so a truther like, out there being like, there's actually no such thing as a bad oyster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're out there, you go, you see the oyster, it's bad. You go, oh, you, have yeah. you ever... But the, the thing I was worried about is kind of not realising it's bad, eating it and then having... Oh, uh, a disastrous oh. time. I did that once when my boyfriend and I first got together. We were in New Zealand and I was trying to show off to him by... Um, I was just using my keys to crack oysters off the rock where we were and it was like that is actually is, really impressive yeah, that, would, cool. that would be yeah. pretty cool it was cool and like we had these oysters and it was like such a fun day and then i got really bad diarrhea later oh no <laughs> <laughs> i was like sexy <laughs> still impressed yeah i've That's never bad. seen a woman shit that much i'm so impressed yeah. <laughs> i'm just surprised you have like you're chinese you yeah. should have had an yeah. oyster yeah i guess we um my family when like it, our seafood of choice is like Lobster. Right. So I've eaten a lot of lobster in my time. It That's blows my-, my mind how casually you and your family talk about lobster. Yeah. We- like, no, but that is a thing yeah. to have oyster, like, lobster, like yeah. lobster noodle and yeah, stuff. Yeah, lobster noodles or just like, yeah, mum and dad But it's just weird one. that if you were looking at a menu, you wouldn't then sort of well, I'm, chuck I'm, in a few ma- oysters. Maybe, that, maybe I've had them as a kid or something, yeah. but then I just sort of, it, they just sort of ne- never came up. Huh. And um, so on the weekend, I, I, I got the text saying, hey. Becky Lucas wants you to eat some oysters and have a martini, and I thought, okay. So I, I, lived- I was fascinated. I'm so as so often is the case with these. You and I couldn't approach this task from a more different background and attitude. Well, I so I texted mum and said, "Hey, am I allergic to oysters?" Because I thought because oh I, I was like, I haven't eaten them, and I wanted to make sure. And she you was like, "You would have loved that, wouldn't you? You <laughs> she- would have loved it." And she was like, "No, I think I think you don't like them though." And I was okay. like, "Okay." So, but I hadn't, I couldn't Mommy, remember a time. what do I like? Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't remember a time when I'd eaten them, right? But I, they've been around. Yeah, Like, yeah. certainly mum oh, and dad around. eat them and, and whatever. Around. I've seen people eat them. Um, but I, wherever I say, I've never ordered them on a menu or something, but I thought, like, where will I go? I became a bit, like, a bit, like, weirded out about the possibility, possibility of getting of, sick, of getting the sick, diarrhea okay. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I was like, where do you get the best oysters from? And she goes, the fish market. Yeah. Now, the fish mm. market's pretty close to here, yeah. right? So they do I do have great oysters. There. So I... I went down to the fish market and on the week, it was a long, it happened to be a long weekend. Yeah. Oh, busy. It was chaos it, down yeah, there. Yeah, it's pandemonium. Chaos I down know. there. I haven't been down to the fish markets in, I don't know, a long time yeah. and it's fucked. I know. It's so crazy. <laughs> you have to go like 5 a.m. Yeah. on a Tuesday. Well, I was else. there at 2 30 on the King's birthday long weekend. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Hunting for something you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Like packed out with tourists, everyone just gorging mm. on these huge platters. Big belly of prawns. Yeah, every <laughs> every restaurant, there's like the half a dozen restaurants are down there, just booked out with yeah. boozy lunches and stuff. Hell yeah. I went to three of them and said, hello, I'm one person. They're like, absolutely not, get wrecked. I, I had to go to like three, four restaurants before I, but finally someone would take me okay. as a single person. Cool. Mm. And I sat down there and I said, do you want a menu? And I said, I know what I want. Which I've never done before as well. Wow. I said, I want half a dozen oysters and a martini. <laughs> and he said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'd like half a dozen um, fresh Sydney rock oysters and uh, a martini. Um, and he goes, we don't really do martinis. And I said, 
okay, well, can I just have them to go then? <laughs> Oh and God. then I had to go to a separate bar. I got them to go, <gasps> then had to go to a separate bar. That's not the, how it's supposed to go. And no. sat down and, and got them to make me a martini while mm. I ate my oysters. Okay. And i got to be honest, it, I felt nothing. I oh. felt, it, I ate the oysters. I didn't feel disgusted by it. I didn't feel pleasured by it. I just felt. I actually got a message from your girlfriend saying she was trying to seduce you that night, and you were all full and <laughs> and feeling sick from oysters. Well, because after I ate the oysters, so I, I ate the six oysters, mm. I downed the martini pretty quick. Okay. And then I I was like, if this goes wrong, I want something to buffer it. Okay. Hmm. So then I I went around and bought like the largest thing of chips I could. Okay. And then walked home eating that to to. Jeez, <laughs> why are you why are you shaking your head? It's just not how you're supposed to do it. Like. You always thwart pleasure. Yes. You, oh, thank you, you. You are allergic to pleasure. You are. Well, you can't ever just... <laughs> this, is, this is such a funny... I mean, now I know why you're doing this podcast. <laughs> because you, you actually can't engage. You did not do... We have to do this again. What, yeah. what, what was I supposed to do then? You are supposed to go to a nice place mm-hmm. with a loved one. Uh-huh. I mean, you can go by yourself. I do. I go by myself sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But you go to a nice place, you sit down, and you relax. Right. And you, and you get the oysters brought, and then and then there's the excitement of the martini, whatever one right. comes first. And you sit there and you luxuriate, and you and you and you you know kind of battle with those two intense flavors. Yeah, and right. I stumbled home. You're, 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 you're pretty <laughs> drunk eating chips <laughs> from the fish market. From the so fish you market. Got take sweating away. at a fish market. Like <laughs> everyone was so chaotic. It was, like, it was so, so people were yelling at each other. I know, somehow you fighting. got disrespected <laughs> during this task. Like you're, <laughs> when, they, when I said, "See, half a dozen oysters," and the guy was, "What?" Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to be. They're supposed to go wonderful, great. Like, mm. and would you like some bread to start? Like. The, the part of it is that you actually sit in a nice place and they respect you. Yeah. That's part of what feels well, good. Well, let me tell you, there was a, a lot of very loud Chinese tourists who were waiting for, um, oh. uh, and they were mad at me because I was taking up space. Yeah. And, pe- and it was, the whole thing was, a frankly, a nightmare. Um, well, anyway, I'm but, sorry. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but I feel like you may have taken a different approach to this, Lewis. Well, oh, look, I trust that Lewis did it right. I've had, again, I've had some experience in this area. and I. <laughs> but, again, like the last six months of my life have been very, like, baby focused mm. haven't really had a chance to do anything this mm. nice in a while so the pro- even the prospect of it like just seeing oh. the text message that said it filled me with joy oh that's awesome filled me with joy <laughs> the joy of anticipation that i hadn't yes. felt in so long and i told my girlfriend i was like guess what <laughs> this week's silver bullet is a do- is i actually the text message i got was a dozen oysters right oh, okay. okay well and, you know it was sort of ha- yeah, yeah, exactly as you please and a martini and she was like oh my god amazing so i made a woman happy <laughs> well you're an ally <laughs> just my my bullets pierced through you and got into a woman truly that's, i tried to stop it obviously that's feminism <laughs> i tried to stop her from having any joy <laughs> you're a mum now no fun <laughs> yeah. um no i uh, so we like planned a day like oh, it was the same nice. it was like the long weekend we were like, let's plan an entire day around <laughs> having this martini and oysters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we went to, um, we were like, we, the night before we were like Googling like best martini in Sydney. Because we've had like, I've had quite a few martinis in my time. But I was like, maybe let's go somewhere, somewhere new and amazing. I'm just mm. imagining him with a sweaty upper lip. <laughs> Just a oh, oh, Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Uh, well, I was really like Jay Gatsby, just like Amazing. swilling around. That's, that's your second Gatsby reference. Yeah. Well, it's the, the first podcast. thing I thought. I was, as soon as I was like Martini and a dozen noises, I'm like, I really feel like this You're is in some, the Great Gatsby. some like jazz era New York bullshit. Yeah. I'm into it. Totally. Um, and I. So we went to Bondi Icebergs, mm-hmm. the dining Very room. Very nice. There which I've go. actually never been to. Isn't it beautiful? So what is, for, yeah. for someone who's outside of that world, what is that place? So it is, there's like a... It's a restaurant, On a cliff yeah. at the end of Bondi, South Bondi, there's right. like three levels of this place. The bottom level is a pool mm-hmm. and a sauna and a gym. It's so nice. Mm. Which is lovely. And then there's like an, almost like an RSL like pub type yep. thing level, mm-hmm. which is kind of, you know, you get, get fish and chips and look yep. out across Bondi. And then the top floor... It's fancy. Is fancy. Oh, right. Okay. Fancy ass okay. food. Mm. Okay. So we went to the, we went, we took our daughter and we went to the, 
the sauna and the pool, and we alternated. Oh, that's so nice. So we were like, she's becoming she accustomed looked, to a certain way yeah. of life now. So yeah. like, Alex looked after the baby. I had a sauna, and then jumped in the ice cold water and icebergs. And then I looked after the baby, and Alex did the same. Okay. Oh, and then we like beautiful. showered, and we put on really nice clothes. Okay. And then we texted our friend who lives around the corner, <laughs> and we're like, we're going to Iceberg dining room to have a martini and a dozen oysters. Do you want to come? <laughs> He was like, absolutely, I'll be there in five minutes. We had the best day. Our baby was in the best mood. Oh. The sun was shining. <laughs> and then we said, like, we'd go up to the, we were like, oh, they, it's a very fancy place. They probably won't want us to show up with a pram, you know. Like, we go to the bounce. We're like, hey, man, can we come in? Like, And he was like, are you kidding me? Of course. Oh, my God, you connected with, a, you know, another man? The, yeah, the bounce is going like, how old's your daughter? Oh, sorry, got two sorry, kids during myself. all this, were there any tourists yelling at you during this whole time? or? <laughs> Weirdly, it was like it was basically empty. We got in there in the afternoon, and like the <laughs> iceberg signing room was basically empty. This they is, like they cleared a spot for us. Couldn't this is absolute bullshit. They, the, 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 all of the staff of Bondi Iceberg Signing Room cleared a spot for us to, br- to bring our pram in. Yeah. We sat like on the on like this balcony, just looking over the ocean. Unbelievable. And because it, it's like that. That's what it is. It's like you're so. It, it, it's such this weird decadent thing that your whole day is like, how lovely is this? Like you start appreciating everything around yeah. the oysters. Honestly, just talking about it is giving me goosebumps. I know. I feel so lifted. I yeah. feel so energised. So- you seem to have sort of shrunk into yourself. <laughs> and not just that. All right. I need you all to put your headphones on for this because this okay. is... Um, your so daughter we- said her first word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> um, so I was there. We were there with... Um, my my girlfriend Alex and my friend Fitzy and our daughter Olive, which mm. appropriate for a martini. Beautiful. Um, and uh, so we we had the most extraordinary, exquisite oysters and the most beautiful martini, right? <laughs> and then and that was it. Like we were just like, okay, beautiful. Now mm-hmm. let's leave, right? But there was a twist. So this oh. is some audio we recorded with my friends okay. right afterwards. Um, we have just walked out of Bondi Icebergs dining room having had a martini and a dozen oysters. And it's safe to say the sun is going down over Bondi. It's one of the most beautiful autumnal days I've ever seen. We've had genuinely an extraordinary day. We had a sauna, we had a swim, and we just saw Nigella Lawson. Oh, my God. (laughs) Nigella Lawson was there. Oh, my God. Was there part of you that was like, Becky did this? Yeah. Wow. I like How we, nice is that? We thought about really good. We were like, <laughs> Becky has made my day, made my girlfriend's day, made yeah. my friend Fitzy's day. We got to see Nigella, Nigella Lawson. Lawson. It couldn't be a better day. Meanwhile, you're like, Becky did this. <laughs> 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 I just can't under I, like I just cannot believe two people like mis- <laughs> like you just misinterpreted the brief so badly. Mm. It's unbelievable. Uh, you should see my Google search history before it, because it's like <laughs> Appropriate way to eat oysters. Aww. Um way to eat oysters without embarrassing yourself. <laughs> How to, like, well, you did, did obviously you think didn't read that. You had to be solo. Did you not know that you could have a crew? I like you could have taken your girlfriend. Could have taken you, my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she sounds like it would have been a really nice time. Yeah, I think she was doing something. I can't remember what Hum was doing. Probably at home waiting for you to yeah. call and invite her. To this oh, she was thing. ill. She was real sick. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there was more to the. Um, oh my god. There's more to the uh, Nigella Lawson story. This is just. Oh wow. Because our our, our podcast has never done celeb gossip before. Mm. So okay. this is um, who she was with. <gasps> she was the very handsome guy in a turtleneck and I was like is it a friend is it a relative is it a colleague we couldn't figure it out oh okay oh, so oh so that's it that's it yeah oh, okay. I just I thought, I oh, thought you ah, were seen with a man in a turtleneck I, I don't know if Steve you got, Jobs perhaps yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you now you're getting it do you guys know how celebrity gossip works yeah. you've got to guess oh okay so you know no no <laughs> well then What's the point of this guy? Because that's how speculation starts. Nigella Lawson seen with Mystery Man. Who okay. is it? Probably you know just I mean? a rich guy. Yeah. Who lives in. Uh, wow, Bondi. I can't believe how uninterested you guys are in yeah, the you've Mystery lost Man. Us. I have. <laughs> you had us on the hook there for a while. Well, do you want. Because um, you were talking about before about how you um, affected my girlfriend Alex's day. Yes. This is her review <gasps> of okay. Martini and a Dozen Oysters. Honestly, I, I think it is the most. Um, it is the most successful silver bullet. Yes. <laughs> I've had the best day I've had since I've had a baby. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so good. This feels truly amazing. Right? I feel 
really, really good. And just to be clear, when yes. you ordered, <laughs> when you ordered the oysters and the martini, what did the waiter say? Or the the wait staff? Um, okay, like sure. They didn't say like what. <laughs> they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't accuse no. me of. Um, they didn't disrespect weird. them. They didn't make them feel small. No. You you were big and winning, and you were small and losing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Th- thank you for making the subtext text. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's good, though, because I think we need, you know, it's something you need to work on. I think, you know, okay. as we go forward, um, I am, I'm going to be a part of this podcast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. You know, I think we can't, you can't just leave the lesson in the podcast. I think you need to, this is a, a weakness of yours. You mm. don't know how to pleasure yourself. <laughs> So next week's Silver Bullet is pleasuring you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be doing it live on the podcast. Yeah, the final episode of the podcast. <laughs> it's just him jerking off into a camera. <laughs> hey, guys, I know how to jerk off, okay? Oh, yeah. Everyone well, who says I don't know how to do it, they're lying. I actually know how to do it, and I've done it heaps. So it's not It's not weird. I know how to do it. It's, they say it's very healthy. He goes back to the fish market to jerk off. <laughs> Hey, a um, dozen oysters and, and, and a like to, cup of lube. <laughs> I'd like to jerk up into this glass. What? Um, um, so well, not no good for you. I think no it wasn't that you. it was no good. It was just that you it just was, didn't do it right. I guess Becky's right. I didn't. I misunderstood what was happening. I didn't realize that you were meant to luxuriate in it. I was trying to be very functional. Yes. And I was, I guess, coming to it from a place of anxiety. Totally. Worried about getting sick. Worried <laughs> about, um, mm-hmm. you know, what potential oyster poisoning, whatever. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so the whole time, I guess I was coming to it from a place of fear. Okay. And I think you should have talked to. That's good to recognise. That's yeah. true. But you should have talked to Becky. There's no such thing as oyster poison. No, no. Oysters are actually. No, they're um, perfect. They're, actually they're great. And if anything, they're full of minerals. They're packed full of. <laughs> they are packed, honestly, full of so many irons and, and really your, good minerals that I will I keep you they, strong. I think they cure COVID. Is they that do. True? They cure lots of things. <laughs> <Yeah>. Cancer. <laughs> is, is your dad still an oyster farmer? No. no but I'm still a, a seafood enthusiast. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I think that if I'd gone to like some sort of velvet room or something, mm. I don't know, that, is that a luxurious room or something? No, yeah. again, that's not what we do. <laughs> but that is actually a great place to pleasure yourself. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think it's just we're very, you're different. Like to you, pleasure is like Dungeons and Dragons, mm. snacks within reach. Like you have a different <laughs> idea of pleasure. It's, it's like. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I mean, but she's you not do wrong. like you like to be safe and like have mm. like it, but and that this isn't something you would do for pleasure. So no, was, but I could learn. I could you learn. Could I, learn. I, I, I think I think if I maybe if I I think going to the fish market was a huge mistake because even though the oysters I think were quite good quality oysters, delicious because they're yeah. from the the. That, but yeah, it's not. Ocean. It's a very stressful environment. That would it, never yeah. have told you to go there. And everyone was here. Yeah, oh, also. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you, you just... <laughs> I thought, I thought, in case these oysters poison me, I should empty myself out first. What? In case, so they're so they're not, so we're not loading the chamber with whatever else. Oh my god! Well, who thinks like this? It's insane. Loading the chamber. <laughs> what do you? Well, because I hadn't. So did you think of the the meal you'd had before as like as like a, as like a bullet, bullet maybe, and then the oysters would be the, the gunpowder, the gunpowder that would fire through the blunderbuss of your butt. That's all. That was my concern. Jesus. So I went to. I. 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 I thought I should go to the bathroom before I ate these oysters. And I. I forgot about this. I went to the toilets of the fish market, and they are the most disgusting things you've ever. You know. You know how you go. You know. Sometimes you're on a road trip and you stop by a a truck stop to go to a bathroom, and it's just been mm. ripped apart. It's a skeleton of a toilet. Yeah. That's and 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 to, to the point at the fish market. It, these are skeletal toilets. They're just metal balls. That's totally. it. Well, the fishermen that they're coming in and dumping like they've been on the sea for two weeks. No, they're coming back to land and they are dumping. There's no seats. There's no lids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, cu- I couldn't see. I, I could ne'er see a flush. <laughs> It was just like these horrible metal troughs. And I walked in and saw a line of people queuing up to use these things. And I was like, you know what? No, I will take the risk. So okay. I didn't even, it was, so maybe that portion. You didn't even empty the, yes. ch- didn't empty the chamber. That was, I guess, so that's why I was quite anxious while eating the oysters. Oh but- my gosh. It's like you just, you're so funny. You, you, you need to, do you, are you in therapy? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm in therapy. You need to discuss this with them. Okay. Because okay. it's a, it is, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. But it's also like insane. The, the, the roadblocks you put up in your own mind. Because <laughs> I think what makes you sad in life uh-huh. is having to stop work. 
for mm. anything. You know what I mean? Like mm. the idea of stopping to take pleasure in things like this. Yeah, it's annoying for you because you're not because I'm currently not... recording a podcast. Yeah, I'm not making even though money. it is yeah. for <laughs> podcast <laughs> content for it's the true, future. It's true. It's true. Whereas it's true. for me, what makes me sad is that I have to stop drinking martinis. Right. Totally. You know what I mean? So like yeah. that was yes. doing that. For- was heaven for me. Can I also ask a martini question? Please. Because I've, I've, oh. I've eaten, I've drunk a few martinis in my life, maybe, I don't know, maybe half a dozen martinis in my life. I don't, mm. I'm not a regular, but I've mm-hmm. had them before. He tried to rebrand as James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 19. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Studying uni, always, a guy who always wears a tuxedo yeah. to work. I mean, to he uni. cut the dreadlocks off. He's like, actually, I'm James Bond. Yeah, actually, um, <laughs> I've gone full other way. Um, I, uh, every other martini I've ever had, if it's had an olive in it, it's been a green olive with a little pimento, mm-hmm. right? This time they gave me like like red olives. Oh, it's a new thing though. Is it? New okay. thing is to use Kalamata juice. Right. Okay. Because that it yeah. was it was much and it's like a it's cloudier almost, yeah. than previous. It's okay. quite delicious. Yeah. It was the martini was alright, but it okay. did get me because I don't really. Drink you got either. buzz. You would yeah. got buzz. Yeah. It was. Pre- I was. I was stumbling home with a like a like oh. an armful of chips. It was wow. <laughs> and then your girlfriend's just there, like trying to yeah. turn you on. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to come back to that. So. Hum, hum, when I told Hum I was going up to eat these oysters, she goes, you know what they say about oysters? And I said, yeah. they make you shit yourself. <laughs> and she said, she said, no, they're an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Like, I've heard that. I don't think that's true. And so I came home kind of drunk um, with a handful of like hot chips, yeah. having eaten the oysters. And, she, and Hum was like, ah? Eh? And I was like, I feel sick. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of oysters. <laughs> I didn't get to empty the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Could go at any minute. It's just, it's like, of course, an aphrodisiac has an adverse reaction on here. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope. <laughs> it's, like, it's like giving ADD medication to a normal person. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Do, so, have, I mean, without going to, without wanting to pry into your lives, mm. have either of you experienced the aphrodisiac nature of oysters before? I think probably it's more like the aphrodisiac nature of the setting and the vibe. Exactly. Interesting. Okay. Exactly. So, it's, so it's not really about the oysters. It's I don't about think the re- so. Relaxing I mean, I do. Yeah. Day. I do think the mineral, like because they've got all these like um, vitamins, it's really vitamin packed. <laughs> 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 it's, it's probably like something to do with erect penis. Oh sure. But I sure. I agree that I think it's something about taking time out to do something and that's a little bit day. like sexy and yeah, like yeah. a bit expensive and you both yeah. know it's a it's a moment. Right, okay. okay. It's kinda yeah. like the way that people are like, Oh, like weddings are like very horny and you're like, Well it's just yeah. everyone gets dressed up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone feel good. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's the same thing. You feel good when you have it. Yeah, when you're and like, you're yeah. being you're being uh you're on display a little bit, like you're not at home, like <clears throat> move. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me the remote. You always have the remote. Like you're out, you're like acting normal. Yeah. You're okay. like creating fun conversation because it's like, well, we, we can't just sit here. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> we can't just rewatch Peep Show. <laughs> like we're, we're, we're out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, was it a silver bullet for you, Lewis? It was, look, I mean, <laughs> obvious. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Shot through the heart. It was, um, it was incredible. Uh, it was almost like a, sil- a, a bullet for your entire family. <laughs> it was so a silver bullet for your entire family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was- Jeez. <laughs> it was not threatening. No. It was extraordinary. And obviously, I think, you know, does it help you forever? I don't know. Probably not. But for us, like, it, given the time as well, I can't tell you how perfectly timed it was. Like, mm. it was just so nice for us, like, five months into having a baby totally. to really, like, put on nice clothes and do a, have a whole day set around it. It genuinely... And remember that you can do that. It Honestly, like, all week I've been in a really, like, fan- Alex and I have been, like, in a oh, really good mood. That's so nice. It's genuinely <laughs> been awesome. Oh, yeah, so it makes you. me really happy. I almost teared up then. Yeah, so would you? So, <laughs> I just looked over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, do you think you would make time to semi regularly do this a couple of times a year, maybe? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. It was yeah? good. It was nice to be like, oh, this is like a thing we can do again. Like my parents are coming up in a couple of weeks to visit, and we're like, we should go back to, oh, we should go back to like icebergs oh. and have a martini with them, and we're like, oh, wow. this is actually such a nice thing to do. So um, nice. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. So um, um, you've made me uh, an alcoholic again, so thank you so much. <laughs> Whereas for me, I feel like my rating has to be not applicable <laughs> because I feel like I didn't do it right. Well, yeah. Maybe I'll have to try it again. I'm going to I'm gonna take you out and, and do it <laughs> properly with you. Okay, yeah. yeah Maybe yeah. you, me and Hum could do it. Yeah, we could, we and could, I'll, we could and double I'll, date with your partner yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm, we I'm going to shaman you partner. into it. But okay, yeah. And then you'll learn and then it could be a new thing. <laughs> Maybe you start with microdosing. You can just have like yeah. a shot of A single oyster and oyster and just some vermouth. Yeah. <laughs> My, you're still emptying the chamber. Yeah. Like, just in case. Just basically I've, any activity. I've, I've read online that it can actually be very dangerous. <laughs> uh- <laughs>
<laughs> uh, can't do anything with this bloke without him emptying the chamber. <laughs> Um, well, uh, Becky Lucas, thank you so much for taking the time to, um, you know, uh, share your silver bullet with us. We've really, really appreciated it. Thanks for having me, guys. It's been a wonderful time. I feel great. Going to have a good day. Obviously, you can go and see Becky doing comedy wherever she is because um, you just should. She's amazing. But also, you have a podcast, The Becky and Cam Show. Yes, I do. With Cameron James, who we all know and love. Yes, and our friend Dixie, Rowan Dix, Don Joyride, you might know Mm -hmm. him as. Uh, yeah, the three of us do that, and it's fun and silly. It's so funny. Yeah. It's uh, oh, thank yeah. You. It's uh, there's a lot of um, comedian <laughs> podcasts that like I subscribe to because they're my friends. Yes, um, but yours is one I will actually listen to on occasion. Oh, you know? that's so nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> high, a very high praise. Well, no, it's not a comedian. <laughs> no, it is. It, it is. Really is. It is. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Because like, we all subscribe to our friends' podcasts. Totally. A lot of podcasts. And around. sometimes I dip in because I'm like I just want to hear information from the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. But I know what you yeah. mean. Thank and thank you. But it's um, it's, it's it's really funny and uh, yeah, you Cam and and uh, Joy are real, real real funny people. Um, uh, Ditto to you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, if you want to subscribe to this podcast, that'd be. I mean, do what you want, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe this is the silver bullet for you. Um, You can do it wherever you find podcasts, including the ABC Listen app. And we are told to tell you, the podcasts actually sound better when you listen to them through the ABC Listen app. We don't know how. (laughs) It's just one of those magical things. Scientifically, shouldn't make sense. But for some reason, it sounds... mm, It's just... It, don't even question it. Just uh, accept that it's true. <laughs> and if you have a silver bullet you'd like us to try, you can email us. Uh, our email address is silverbullet at abc.net.au. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll catch you next week.